This video was sponsored by me. My Patreon is available once again. I'm offering Photoshop files for all of my art, which is very useful to view if you are a beginner or digital artist. What are Photoshop files, you may ask? Photoshop files are the files that contain the layers to my art. You can open them in any art program and you are able to look at the individual layers of the art. Why is this useful? Well, you can pretty much see the techniques I use for constructing my art, such as layer effects, you can see my sketches and how I plan everything, and you can individually see each effect layer. You can access all of my files for legit only $3, so that's a pretty good deal. For every art piece I release, I will also release a Photoshop file on my Patreon. So once again, if you're a beginner digital artist, I recommend heading there. Thank you for listening, and now on to the video. Hey what's up, it's me, your favorite artist you're obviously subscribed to, and welcome to what is supposed to be my 100k subscriber special. But, you know, I'm 7 months too late, and now at this point, it's my 150k subscriber special. But, I do have an excuse, okay? I just finished high school and now I am a graduate, meaning that I can finally do what I always wanted to do, and that is to focus on my YouTube. Now, ever since I was 10 years old, I always wanted to be big on it, okay? On YouTube. But I never actually really expected it to happen. Before I was some normal artist, I was Rastastic Gaming and Lego Inventions. Lego Inventions, contrary to what its name says, was a channel I made inspired by Super Mario Logan and Spin Dash Pro where I would just do Sonic fl Sonic plush adventures, you know, I just fuck around with plushies with my friends. It was funny, it was fucking funny. And Rastastical Gaming was inspired by Game Grumps, where I would just play fun games with my friends on the couch and just record it. Now, they really never reached any more than 400 subscribers, but to me at that time, it was fantastic and just fucking unbelievable. In my school, if you had 400 subscribers, you were fucking, you were amazing. Now imagine the reaction of 8th grader me when he sees how fucking well this channel has done in 2 years. 150 subscribers, 150k subscribers in 2 fucking years. I never expected this channel to ever reach those numbers and I only started it because I needed to post a video that didn't fit on my Instagram TV thing. Now about my heart history, I don't remember exactly when I started drawing, so I usually give everyone different answers, but I do remember that I claimed the name Some Normal Artist around 2017. You may be asking, well how did you come up with the name? Uh, I was gonna start a new art account, but I kind of forgot that I needed a name, so I just fucking came up with it on the spot. You know, Some Normal Artist, because I can't think of anything else. Anyways, I drew for my whole life. I would draw Sonic characters, Left 4 Dead 2 characters, Pokemon, you know, all the stuff a little kid would draw. Now, I wouldn't be introduced to the concept of anime until my sister showed me Sword Art Online and Full Metal Alchemist, you know, two beginner animes. I used to copy a lot of the drawings in 7th grade, love like the shows, and I thought I was a badass artist, I thought it was like amazing, bro. But, I, you know, I always drew it for fun, and I never really thought about myself getting better than I already was. Then, the summer of 8th grade year. I saw the movie A Silent Voice and it just blew me away and I just knew that I wanted to get better at drawing anime because I thought that movie was amazing. Now this is where my story quote unquote starts because I've had way more drawings before this one but I just couldn't, I couldn't really find them or they just weren't that important. So this is March 2nd of 2016. I, st I started drawing traditional, well I didn't start drawing traditional art, you know, that this is just what I found first. Look at this fucking horde piece of shit. Now, <laughs> look look at this man's eyes, bro. They're, they're, they're just, cr they're looking at each other. He's looking at his nose, the sweater, you know, it's just staticky. His hair that, you know, the, ooh, ooh, I, I don't know. You know, this was like one of my beginning drawing anime thingies. And, you know, it looks like that stereotypical beginner's anime thing. So what can I really say about this one? Alright, now the next time I drew something, it just looked completely fucking different. Now this time, I'm like, oh, clothes are supposed to have wrinkles. But I kind of overdid it with the wrinkles. You see, a lot of these parts are just, ooh, curves, ooh. Oh my god, look at this. I don't even know what to call this. This is gross. Ooh, curves mean wrinkles, right? Ooh, peace sign. Ooh, nose. Ooh, hair, lines inside the hair means more hair, right? Ooh. I mean, it was it was a bigger improvement than what this one was. You know, he looks more like a person instead of looking like an alien. And now this was this was a whole last month after the other one. All right, this I think this was my first traditional or not traditional my first digital art piece. I remember showing this to my parents, and they were like, "Son, you you are amazing. Keep doing what you're doing because that just looks like the best thing I've ever fucking seen." And I believed them. 
I did. I believed him. <laughs> so as you can see, I think I just wanted to draw, draw eyes, and that was it. But I just made the face. And, uh, uh, let's let's kind of analyze this for a little bit. First of all, I didn't even feel like finishing the hair. At some points, you could just see it's disconnected, and oh my god. I'm shading with gray. I'm shading with the airbrush tool. Why do you guys think I always tell you never to do it? Because I used to do it. Every single mistake I tell you guys is because I used to do it and I knew it was horrible. So you can see here, all the, a lot of the lines are incomplete. The sparklies in the eyes, they were just random. Oh, I, I don't even know what the fuck the eyes are supposed to look like. It's kind of weird. And then the eyebrows, you know, yeah. Here is my next uh, traditional art piece. I guess it looks better than this one. I mean, I didn't do as much wrinkles and I didn't do like fucking concave or convex. I don't remember what word it is, but you know what I'm talking about. Like these kind of curves inside the shirts. Now, well, you know, you know, you look, his hair is better. His hair is better. No more lines inside the thing. The only thing is that this contradicts the flow of the hair, which I don't know why I did it. It just kind of, you know, I mean, stylist choice, I guess. Who knows? It's just my style. Oh my god. Second, I'm guessing... No, this... This is my first... My second digital art piece. This was my third. Really? No. Oh, this was my f second one. And then this was my third. So here's my second one. It was a side face of... I, th I guess it was supposed... No, it wasn't supposed to be me because he has blue eyes. But okay, I learned what filters were. And for some reason, it looks bright as hell. So I remember on Clip Studio Paint, I learned how to do eyes and I just kept doing that style and it just looks, I mean, it looks better than this one. So at least I'm going somewhere, but the side face, eh, his body's really skinny. His neck is like super thick compared to his body. I don't know if mine is, but you know, who knows? This isn't even a shirt, bro. Like I, all I did was a curve and then two lines that are supposed to be wrinkles and then at this point i didn't even like i have a bunch of white dots that i didn't even color in okay i learned what filters were again i guess i didn't overlay and just fucking filled it with yellow the background isn't even mine that's fun uh the head shape questionable you know he's tilting his head this way but he has a big ass forehead i guess the line the the line work is like butch hartman type beat it's fucking inconsistent. There's some thick lines here, some thin lines here. The shirt, I don't the neck, bro, it's thick. Dude, oh my god. Oh god. Okay, this was a this was one of my OCs. I remember he was kind of based on like the fucking His name was Gold and he was based on like the Pokemon Go Instinct team leader. I can't remember what his name was, but he was based on that. Um I used to draw him a lot. Okay. Oh, I remember this one. This was also him. This was this guy. Um, oh my god. So I remember I... This is ink. I colored this in. And then the shading, the quote-unquote shading, was lead that I smudged that I thought was really good. So, dude, I, I was fucking smudging lead all over the place. Dude. Even in places that it didn't even make sense in. I don't know why I didn't smudge this part. But, you know, I guess the... the oh my god. The line work just looks like complete cheeks. I remember being super proud of this one. Look at my signature. Look at my signature, dude. What is this? Uh, to be fair, my handwriting is still bad, so. Oh, yep. Here's gold again with his piano, with his arms being completely, completely eaten up by the piano. I, I don't know why. I, no, I think back then even I thought this was trash. The colors are questionable. Blue, yellow, green, white, black. Okay. Uh, nice color scheme there, me. Uh, the clothes were very static. Uh, you know, he looks... I guess his face looks not better than that one, but, you know, it's starting to look more like human. Who knows? Uh, gross colors that are shaded with gray. Background that isn't even mine. L bouquet lights that don't even make sense. Perspective that doesn't even make sense. A piano that looks like it was fucking made of log. Okay, next one. Oh, I think this was supposed to be Jeff the Killer, and this is what I made on Halloween. Oh, guys, look, I learned how to do clothing folds, and now it... I mean, I guess it makes sense. Oversized hoodie. Um, the pants don't make sense. A bunch of folds that don't even need to be there. It just makes it look more like fat than... 
clothing. Alone. Okay, we're getting somewhere. This is better. Definitely better. Uh, boobs, maybe too far spread out. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, her legs, maybe she's a little short. Um, cause, alright. Body, then her lower torso. Her thighs should definitely be here instead of her knees already. Unless she's just skinny. Uh, alone, you know, her, the hand, not so bad. We're getting somewhere. A bra strap on her sho shoulder. Okay, kind of cool. Um, wind, but the rain's going down. That doesn't make sense. Skirt looks like, eh, who knows? We're getting somewhere. Oh, okay, okay. Fuck it, lay that hand, bro. What? Okay, this was my Sun and Moon OC. This is when Sun and Moon came out, November twenty third, two thousand sixteen. Yeah, this is who my character in Sun and Moon was. Um, anatomy worse than last time. His eyes, questionable eye color, okay. His hair just going in all directions, I guess that makes sense. Uh, his head shape isn't that bad. Pokeball, okay, they, it doesn't got the middle thing, but it doesn't look too bad. His hand doesn't, it's just, it doesn't even have any fat in it, it's just a plank. Do hands have fat? I don't know, I mean like it doesn't even look like a squishy hand, it just looks like a plank. Arm, okay, does that make sense? His shirt, okay oh my god his skin color looks dull his hair it's leaking the white's leaking to his head the background i didn't even realize that it's just like <clears throat> i just literally took a brush and just started making streaks and called it a day all right next oh okay i mean i'm pretty sure i copied this drawing from maybe rosary who knows um but i used to copy a lot back then just because like that's how I got better. I just fucking copied other artists. Um, shading questionable. I just fucking... You, you, you know how I always say, like, the, the shading's not dynamic. It's always, like, one width, one thickness. That's kind of what I used to do. You know, that's why I always say it. Because that's what I used to do. Just fucking look at this thickness, bro. What the... What, what even is this? Eyes. They're definitely better. I'm definitely going somewhere with the eyes. The nose is perky. The mouth. I don't even know what the hell the mouth is. And the hair is just... Ugh. I didn't even give her an ear. Another OC of mine, I can't remember what this one was called. Definitely an improve an improvement, if you can call it that. His scarf doesn't even look like a scarf. But character design, it's getting there. If you flipped this drawing, it'd probably look like complete cheeks. Okay, yeah, it definitely does. So let's not do that. His eyes are asymmetrical. He has too much cheek. His jawline, okay, questionable. The, the shirt looks decent, sure, kind of. The shading doesn't make sense. Why is the top of his hair shaded, but not the bottom? If it is on this part, this should be not shaded, and then this part should be shaded. I don't know. I was, I don't remember what age I was. I think I copied this one. This used to be from maybe before the first drawing I showed. It looks like ass. I think I was practicing markers. This is not an improvement because I think I copied this one. I mean, an improvement. Okay, I learned something. I guess I learned how to do eyes. I'm not what you think. I was trying to do something scary, and it just looks like ass. The eyes. Okay, I know how to do eyes. The, the fucking collarbone, bro. It looks like a face. Like, these are the eyes, and then this is the smiley face. What? Why did I make the collarbone so high? Is it that high? Bro, I don't even know anymore. Fuck. The clothing, the sweater. Okay, the hair just kind of sticky. There's she has no ears for some reason, and her face, her smile is just super far apart. How did I think this was okay? Like, what in my head was like, oh yeah, the fucking mouth is supposed to be that far apart. Um, this is better, kind of. I mean, it's more simplistic, which doesn't really mean better, I guess. Um, I kind of learned how to do skin shading. I definitely, yeah, I definitely started picking better colors for the skin at this point. I don't know if it was because I started copying other people's skin tones. Who knows? This was supposed to be a meme that I made just for myself. Scarf doesn't make sense. I don't know where the fuck it's pointing this way. I think it was supposed to be this guy, but I changed him. Who knows? Okay, well, I changed him again. No reason. Um, I remember I had a lot of struggle with clothing. Uh, yeah, you can tell. I didn't know what to do. I just gave him a shirt. I just gave him fluff on his coat. But his coat does not look like a coat. And then his pants look like they're from fucking... 
um, the garbage. His eyes, you can't see his eye whites that his eye whites that much. Okay. Oh, that's the end of 2016. We made it. Woo, my progression in 2016. All the way from this to, you know, we went somewhere. I, I guess I learned how to color, well, not color, but pick colors a little bit better. I learned a little bit of anatomy. I mean, that hand is a little bit questionable, but you know, he's, he's definitely a human. 2017. Starting off with my Roblox OC called Adam. Because my name used to be Adam Lambert on there. Anatomy, not too good. His head's a little too big. The clothing, I mean, his arms were like that, so I just made it like that. I guess the clothing isn't too bad. You know, it's not, it's not bad. I can't really tell you what I fucking did good on. I guess posing. He looks, he looks like a po he looks like a human. He looks, you know, dynamic. Maybe I copied this drawing. I don't know. I just know that the coloring is complete trash because I remember I used a crayon. The coloring's definitely there. I, I think I copied the coloring, like the coloring, uh, the colors, because it looks more vibrant, I guess. It doesn't look grayish like I used to. But, you know, I colored outside the lines because I didn't know what the fuck alpha lock was. And the hair, questionable. The background isn't even mine, so let's go next. The eyes, uneven. I didn't know what flipping horizontally was. Chara! Okay, this one's actually not too bad. The only thing that's questionable is the clothing, but that's about it. I got the perspective on the legs right, maybe. Um, belly, you know, Chara. That's Chara from Undertale. Yeah, you can definitely tell that. Background isn't mine. I stole it from Blender. The knife is actually very questionable. Her hands are actually the most questionable. I literally just made a mittens. But, you know, overall, I learned how to do dynamic posing, maybe. I learned the colorings a little bit better, you know. It's more simplistic but it looks better it makes more sense because the light's coming from this way so like everything over here is shaded so yeah, yeah definitely going somewhere my line work damn look at that sexy hung let me flip this okay um so this is when i tried doing like practicing line art like i knew that you were supposed to be it was supposed to be dynamic by like adjusting the width of it in places but i didn't know where so i did it on the completely wrong side of it and it just kind of looks like booty but you know, I learned from my mistakes. Here's Felix the cat. I think his name is Felix. Uh, line work, definitely questionable. The fucking bows look like bones that you would draw in a cartoon. The ear is the most realistic thing out of everything here. His eyes, eh. His mouth, okay. Uh, fuck. Oh, that's me. Oh wait, what can I say about the coloring? The coloring's more cell shading, so I can't really say I did good on it. Um. It's fucking terrible. It's so dirty. I, I have some white spots here. Here, okay, this is when I started to use Clip Studio. I think I used Paint Tool Sci for these ones, and this is when I used Clip Studio. You know, definitely better. My face looks cool. Jawline, questionable. Uh, neck, sure. The skin, skin's a little bit- I'm not that yellow. I'm more pinkish, so I don't know why I made myself yellow. The hair, a little bit shaded better, but I guess you can't really call shading just right here better. Um... What the fuck did I learn? I didn't learn nothing. I don't even remember. I, it's still the same style. I don't know what I fuck it. Like, I didn't really draw to learn. I more drew for fun. This is when I tried to do, draw scenery. This isn't too bad. I actually kind of like it. Um, the clouds, you got the mountains, the ocean, the grass, the terrain, the tree, the tree. The tree definitely looks kind of good. I remember I followed a tutorial for this, and that's probably why. The human, I don't think you can see him, so I'm going to zoom into him. Okay, he's reading a book. His hand's a little bit fucking weird, but it's okay because he can't notice from far. You know, not bad. I definitely kind of like it. It gives me a good vibe. It gives me a fun vibe. Lance from maybe... Maybe it's from... It's, maybe it's Lance from fucking Fate Zero. I don't know. It, all I know is that it looks like shit. Um, he looks more like a kid than an adult, which is what I try to do. I think his ear is super low. He's like the fucking the Crocker from the Fairly Odd Parents. His ears all the way to his neck. Um, his hair definitely looks shapey. His color bones. I finally made them lower this time. You know, we're getting somewhere. I'm starting to learn a little bit more anatomy. Definitely developing. This is definitely really good. I remember I drew this on a clips clips clip studio. Maybe I did. Um, I started to learn how to do hair better. Uh, you know, source point, all that shit. The highlights were definitely better. 
the clothing I still didn't know how to do and legs were like the fucking I'm still not really good with legs to be honest um so you can see it here the hand looks good the hand shapes there it's not just a complete stick the the fingers are questionable but you know they're starting to look like hands the hair flow is kind of ugly you can see that she looks it looks like she has greasy hair and that just kind of looks really ugly i remember i drew this when i was going to beat ups the fucking coloring is so awful a complete downgrade from what i did i drew this on metabang on my ipad this is when i got my ipad for my eighth grade graduation and what is this this just looks like complete cheeks bro look at this coloring it's so god awful the the, the shirt the lines it's like i forgot how to do anything okay this looks like this this is same face syndrome or some shit it looks like the other thing this was supposed to be me the brown the, okay, the colors aren't too bad. It's probably just the way I used them. This this one definitely was horrible. Oh my fucking god, this coloring is horrendous. Uh, I used to pick a lot of my colorings from other artists. Now I just kind of freehand it, but oh. oh god. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. I definitely knew how to color now. The hair is a little saturated, kind of grossly in a way. The, the halo just looks like a fucking piece, piece of plastic. The gun looks like ass. This was supposed to be my girlfriend's uh, OC. And um, this was, I think this was before we started dating. But I drew her OC, you know, I'm sorry I did a complete dis dis uh, disrespect to your character if you're watching this video. Um, okay, downgrade. I guess this was more of a sketch. I still didn't know what coloring inside the lines were, apparently. Uh, her chest looks like a plank. Her hair looks like a banana. Her eyes are uneven, blushing, just fucking red. Oh, okay. This is R Rem without her sister. I did draw her sister, but fucking she died. Anyways, this was better. I think I copied someone, which is why it looks better than this. But, you know, I <laughs> I used to get better by copying people. So. I think this is when I watched uh, Home Alone. No, a Silent Voice. This is the this was supposed to be the girl. I can't remember. Um, this was supposed to be her grown up. You see the photography girl. Uh, so shading. She definitely looks cuter, I guess. Her okay, I'm gonna flip this. Let's see this shit. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh clothing, eh. The hands are better. Shading, I don't know why the fuck the shading's that way. I mean it's so shading. It was okay. Okay. What happened here? Banana hair. Fucking. Whoa! I didn't even realize her fucking crotch was so high up. Dude, this girl has no crotch at all. I don't know what I did here. I fucking butchered you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you exist. Okay, okay. This was really good. This was supposed to be me. The hand, you know, looks like a hand. Shorts. I got my skinniness. My feet were kind of small. My feet are not that small. I made them really small here. Um, you know, I kind of look badass, not gonna lie, kind of cool. I still didn't understand the clothes. I still didn't understand shoes. I guess I was, like, I was always good at arms, not legs. My face looks cool. My hair doesn't. Well, my hair, like, the hair highlight doesn't look good. My beanie, I guess the chaining is eh. This is my other Roblox OC. She had an ice cream cone for a hat. For a hat. Kind of thick, though, not gonna lie. But, you know, I was getting into dynamic posing. Um, definitely made her head too fucking small. Her hairline is receding. I don't even know what this is. Okay, this is when I used paint tool Psy. And I thought I was a badass, but this hair just kind of looks like she's shitting it out of her head. Horns look like weird tumors. Um, eh. Her, the shading's not bad, but she looks a little bit pink. She's more like pink than skin. Um, fucking pink as shit. Holy shit, man. This was supposed to be me. I'm pink. The hair highlight. I don't even know what I did here. This is a downgrade, bro. I think this is supposed to be a sketch, maybe. I definitely look better. I had hearts for eyes, which kind of insinuates something weird. The hair kind of looks uh, ugly. Um, I had way too much hair in but Oh my god. Fuck. I drew too many lines in like the hair. I don't usually do that anymore. Don't know what this part's supposed to be. Um, sure. Ears way too tiny. I mean, my ears are kind of small. Let's go! My first post on Some Normal Artist. The eyes are definitely really cool. 
when I saw her face, I didn't actually, like, it actually kind of looks good. Like, the coloring's actually kind of good. Um, this was my girlfriend's OC. Um, this is when I first made the account some no more, just the Instagram. The coloring's definitely kind of good. Like, if you see it from afar, it definitely looks, like, kind of vibrant, kind of nice. Um, definitely, I can't say the same for down here, because I guess I just used an airbrush tool. I remember I didn't even care about her hands at that point. But, or his... It was a femboy. Next page. Um, eh, you know, I can't color outside the line. Or I can't color inside the lines for shit. So, okay. Collarbone's starting to go high up. I think I was trying a new, like, color lighting from, like, a different coloring or a different lighting perspective. It's kind of eh. I mean, I'm getting somewhere. You can definitely tell I'm getting somewhere. I'm getting to, I'm starting to get better at coloring, which is what I always excelled at, kind of uh coloring and like the anatomy's there i mean her at least her torso isn't fucking high up or his fuck definitely okay a huge improvement from no that this one was definitely better but this was also good i mean i got eh, at clothing i mean i can't really say i got better at it her head's kind of too big you know what this doesn't even look like my style like, I made her look more chibi-like than anime-like. Getting better at sh skin shading, but you can definitely tell I need to start making more details because it kind of looks like I just slop it on there. I don't know why I do the hair like this. Like, it's just... I'm just making the same thickness of lines connecting to the source point, and I'm just making spikes, and then, like, the contrast is so fucking hard, it's, like, disorienting. This is definitely horrible, bro. I just took a... Like... This hair was definitely better than this one. Like, what is it? What even is this coloring? Like, I just did a huge downgrade. Oh, uh, okay. This was on... Oh, yeah. These two were on my iPad. This one was on my computer. This one was on iPad, iPad, iPad. Yeah. So, this is when I used Paint to Sai again. I mean, the lines were too thin. This is definitely cuter. This one was on my iPad. It was just supposed to be a cheapie of my girlfriend's OC. I just loved drawing my girlfriend's OCs. Um... So yeah, a chibi, you can tell, kind of cute, sure. She has no fingers. Her, no, her thumbs are on the right spot. She has no fingers though, which is kind of sad. Big t-shirt, her legs are different with, or with, yeah. Um, yeah. I remember I hated this one. Even when I was drawing it, I hated this one. So I'm not gonna get into too deep why I hated it. I think I mostly hated it because like the clothing was so 2D. Like this was supposed to be like, different clothing items but i drew them like they were connected so i don't really like that um this was a character from a game i can't remember what game but i just didn't like it her face just kind of seemed off and i didn't really like it that much uh girlfriend's oc in check yeah her hands definitely look starting to look more like hands her lips you know sure her eyes are even you know her okay this is yeah i started making the hair i started rushing the hair too much so like I had thicker spikes here and not enough of them. I just have like one or two and then it was too thick. And then like the shading between the lines kept getting thicker too. Oh my God. I had this as a backpack in freshman year and holy shit. It was ugly. Um, the lines were too thick. For some reason I used to use purple. The hands are chubby. My clothing, I'm getting better at shading clothing, I guess. If you can say by that. I, I started to get better at shading faces. I always liked shading faces. The hair definitely looks kind of better. I drew this on my iPad. I can't remember what her name is, but I copied this, I think. Uh, the clothes shading just fucking is horrendous. Booby. Uh, her face shape. Eh. Okay, I don't even want to talk about this one. This one's just fucking ugly. This one's also ugly. Um, The hair horrendous fucking super thick shading for no reason his ears look greasy this one's cute this one's definitely cute the neck shading okay um the hair shading i fucking made it too saturated by doing too much overlay the bow looks like ass uh her ears are too small maybe i don't know this was supposed to be samus i, th I think this is cute her hair is a little you know not following a flow it kind of like there and then i mean her hair is better her hair is definitely better i've been getting yeah i was getting better at the flow of hair maybe this one's def this one's definitely better not the side bangs though 
This was Ashley uh, Ashley from Resident Evil 4. I definitely butchered this drawing and I like I didn't even like it when I was drawing it during the time. I really like this one. Um skin skin okay. The skin eh, the coloring was kind of nice. Uh this was definitely too still saturated. I don't know what these were supposed to be and she's just cranky. Maybe the eyes are uneven. Oh, you guys know this one. This is my girlfriend's OC again uh that she let me have. Uh, this is this was definitely really good. I liked it. It showed her uh, I don't know the the clothing was definitely good But that's not too much of an accomplishment when the clothing is skin tight. She had a dress down here Um, okay, this is fucking weird. I used to like slapping blue in the darkest places Holy shit. Oh my god. I didn't realize it. Okay now the, mo the most more I look at it the worse it gets I used to like putting blue in the darkest places Whoa <laughs> Damn, bro. Okay. Tomato ass looking ass. The hair highlights are just slapped on there. I don't even know what the fucking say about this one. This one was just... Eh. This one... Okay. What the fuck is that clothing, dude? My man, what is that? That's just literally just fucking underwear. Just on her. And it doesn't even look like good underwear. I slapped so much blue even though she was supposed to be blonde, bro. What is this? This was my girlfriend's OC, once again. I fucking made him look so scary. It's like realism, but not. It's like on a chibi. It's just fucking... Ew, bro, what is this man? What is my man? Yo, it's me and my girlfriend, but I whitewashed my girlfriend by accident. Uh, This was on our... No, this is... This is before I asked her out. This was during homecoming, maybe? This was me freshman year. That's her. I fucking... Oh, my... Yo! Yeah! <gasps> You know I had to do it to him, bro. That's me with the fucking drip. All right, on to... All right, this is when I started getting better at, like, anatomy and kind of coloring. Like, it, it definitely looks like a drawing I would draw now. Well, it doesn't look like in terms of style, but, like, in terms of composition, it definitely looks like something I would draw now. Her boobs l are look... Okay, it's supposed to be, like, big, but I also made them flat at the same time. I don't even know how that's possible. Allison, I had made this drawing later on and I'll show it to you later, but I started getting better at posing, but I would always steal the backgrounds from other people. So that's not a good thing. My bad. The horns definitely questionable. They don't look like horns. I want to zoom into her face real quick. Her head looks like a peanut shape. Bruh, her head looks like an ass, bro. Like, pfft. oh my God. And these horns, bro. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. I think I actually copied her from like the Monster Girl website. Oh, this was a commission. Um, he wanted a Duolingo pillow, Xbox controller. He doesn't, he doesn't look too bad. What is that beard, bro? My bad. Whoever commissioned this, I'm sorry, dude. You commissioned at the worst time. Socks, feet, nice. Yeah, okay, the clothing wasn't that bad. It just looks too wrinkly. Um, the hands definitely aren't there. What the fuck, bro? She looks like a frog. I don't know why. Okay. Okay. What are these two? Bro. Okay. I don't even know what to say about these. Too much blue and shit. Oh, this one's cute. Allison, but as a chibi. This one was definitely cute. I like this one. I don't like that one. I don't like that one either. Oh my fucking god. What was my line work, dude? What was my sketches? This was on iPad. And I remember one of my friends started shouting out that I was drawing a hentai while I was drawing this. And I got scared. Um, face, Same face syndrome. I drew her on traditional before. But... Eh. Eh. Her, her fucking hair is way too saturated. I don't know what the fuck I did here. You're such an idiot, you sussy bot. Anyways, her, her hair definitely looks better, I guess. Her fucking hands are questionable. Shading... The fucking shirt looks weird. Why did I do it like that? It's like scrunched up. Her hands are, her arms are too skinny. I mean, her face kind of looks nice. I'd say her, like everything about the head's nice. I'm getting better at it. Her hair was supposed to be black, so I don't know why it looks purple though. Let's go, Wendy's woman. This is when the Wendy's woman was starting to pop off. I drew her because I kind of liked her. Dude, I made her look high. Let's go. Okay, I did not make this look hot. What the fuck is this? This is supposed to be for Halloween. It was supposed to look scary, but it ended up looking dumb as shit. I think this was a request. Commission request. Who knows? But, eh. I mean, her face cheek's a little bit too puffy. 
Her ear is too small. The eyes, eh. The collar. The hand, the hand, the hand kind of, eh. It's like, it's like, ooh, okay. Um, I think I made her look really short. Definitely, definitely a good character. The, oh my fucking God, the shorts, dude. What the fuck is this? The thigh highs. I remember I used to give a bunch of my characters just thigh highs for no reason. Yeah, okay. This is supposed to be my OC. And then this was a tree, but the tree ended up looking so shitty. I don't know why I thought this was okay. It looks more like cotton than a tree. Ooh, angel woman. I haven't drawn this person in a long time. Saturated ass hair, dude. What was my problem? I mean, the posing was definitely nice. Her face looks very questionable compared to her fucking mushroom head. Oh my god, I hated this one. I fucking hated this one. I don't know. It's just something off. She looks so shiny. Look, this is why I always tell you guys, don't put highlights in random places because it makes them look like they're covered in oil. That's what I did. Fucking, oh, dude. She just looks so plasticky. This was me. I definitely made myself look off. Like, I think I copied and pasted the eye, but the reason you shouldn't do that is because this happens. Like, I look sad at this point. And I have a fang. This was for Halloween. This wasn't really that good. My line work was still completely garbage. This one was better, you know? But, I mean, that's not really a huge improvement. This guy's fucking cross-eyed. Um, same shit. I had super saturated hair. I didn't learn anything. When did I, st when did I start getting better? Same hair thing. Well, it looks like the same exact hair. That guy, at least he wasn't cross-eyed, but he had a long-ass fucking neck. Uh, I think this was my girlfriend's OC, maybe. Um, I give her... Mm, I can't remember. The hair looks... Eh, I guess. This one was fucking horrible. Let's go to this one. This one was definitely better. Um, her face is eh. But her posing is... Ooh. Hey, it's me on Christmas. It looks like ass. This was Link when Breath of the Wild came out. The background isn't mine. Fuck, dude, why was I such a stealer, man? I don't do that. I'm sorry. This one was definitely better. You know, I guess. A better guy. Holy shit, 2017 was like a big-ass year for me, dude. Yeah, I drew a lot in 2017. I can't say that's the same for the other years, though. 2018 let's go i redrew that one picture from before you guys know which one i'm talking about definitely definitely an improvement in i guess drawing bodies her face is definitely look better her curvature on her face though right here i can't really say the same for that um i started getting better at shading some weird ass highlights i guess it was latex but it looks weird <sighs> Bro, I, I remember this is when Tide Pod Chan started fucking becoming a thing that I wanted to do or no, annoying orange chan, but I just made I just fucking butchered it. This doesn't even look good, dude. My, oh my god. Oh, this was also very ugly. What was I dude? I had an ugly streak right here. This was the girl from Ding and Rampa, not Ding and Rampa, fucking I can't, you know what game, you know what game, I can't remember what game, but I made her face so long, I don't know why, like, it looks weird, um, I started getting better at making more details instead of just using a big ass thickness for everything, definitely got better at that, um, her, her boobs are fucking shaded like octagons, Oh, instead of using blue now, I'm just using fucking purple everywhere. Okay, let's go next. Okay, this was ugly. You remember this drawing? Yeah, just imagine the same thing, but more purple, basically. Ah, oh, fuck. This was another OC of mine, but I fucking... I didn't... Oh, my God. Her, her, her head was too small. And her fucking boobs are so pushed up. Why? Okay, this one was definitely better. This one was better, better composition. I used to do, I'm not really good at side heads, but you know, the blue, the blue hair kind of looks better. You know, this looks nicer. Let's go. This is when the SpongeBob OP came out. Um, I drew this just for the fun of it. I didn't know how to shade yellow. I thought it was supposed to be green, but I guess, you know, the green kind of fits more with the aesthetic that it's supposed to be badass and stuff. Um, holy shit. That was a fucking detail dash dress. I don't know if I copied it or not, but I probably did knowing how bad I fucking was. But I remember this used to be my favorite drawing. This part definitely wasn't that good. The dress, it looks too good for what I used to be able to do. Her hair 
It looks, her, okay, I'm getting better at hair at least. Her skin still looks like ass. There's so much purple everywhere that it doesn't even look like skin. Overwatch skateboard. I remember I used to like this drawing too. I mean, the posing's really good. I I was more creative back than I am now. Blend this guy. The cake looks like fucking cardboard. His face looks weird. His head is purple. Why are you... <laughs> oh, you remember that one drawing before? Yeah, make it more purple. You you remember that for my first digital art? I tried to recreate it and then like it didn't look that good. So that's sad. Allison, it's Allison. I think that's what her name is. Allison, um, way too much contrast in her hair. I don't know. I just put the, like, I shaded too dark in like places that didn't need to be so dark. But her hair, her horns definitely look better. Her face, if you flipped it, I'm pretty sure I didn't do this really well. Yeah, her face didn't look that good. But I'm getting better at hair, getting better at horns, um, getting better at shirts. Okay. This was a commission. It just looks like ass. Her fucking... She was supposed to be looking front face, but I made this too long. Um, better commissions. She's kind of cute, not gonna lie. The buttons really look nice, considering I didn't trace them. Um, her headphones. Okay. I used to use textures a lot for everything because I didn't know how to do textures. This was inspired by Kawasi. I remember I kind of just... I quote unquote copied his hair just because I was... This was more practice. I didn't really... I don't think I posted this. Maybe I did. What I don't understand is why is this filled with skin color when her head is supposed to be like this, but her head is fucking filled here. Um, you know, we all know who this is, but I definitely didn't really like this drawing. I liked her hair, his hair, but eh. I didn't, eh. This was a guy. It was a guy. It looks like ass. The fucking shading on that fucking clothing didn't make sense. Oh, uh, I didn't, oh, I fucking, this was the drawing I didn't like. It wasn't the other one, it was this one. Because I tried to redraw that one character in this one I didn't like. Oh. Yeah, you can see, because their fucking face cheek is so, like, inside. Like, it's too straight, not inside. It's too straight. I tried to do more dynamic posing. This was one of my OCs. Her sword was definitely pretty cool, not gonna lie. But she was supposed to be, like, a, a demon slayer. Uh, no, I don't remember what she was. Zero two in a bunny suit. I got commissioned this, and I I think I don't. It looks decent. Too shiny. Um, booby. It's there. Fingers fucking messed up. Her hair is too purplish. Um, side face. This one's definitely cute, but it looks more simplistic than what I used to do. So I'm guessing it was a sketch. Oh, this is a redraw. What am I? I actually like this one. I like the way I did the eyes. It, there's no line art on the eyes. Oh, this was my favorite. It was a chibi of that one character that you saw. Right here. It was a chibi. I actually really like this one. It's cute. Oh, this you guys know this one. It was one of my uh fucking my bad examples on how not to pose. She looks fucking too staticky. Um what else? Uh this oh shit, what is this? I mean I definitely like this one was definitely this one was definitely better than this one. I guess I was just practicing. Booty, let's go. All right, this is the first time I tried to draw a background, but it didn't look that good. And so I never tried to draw a background again. You can see her phone home background is like one of my characters. <laughs> but yeah, this was definitely a creative risk I took. I started, I, I used to be more creative than I was now. Bowsette, but I fucking messed up her hair. I thought it was supposed to be red. Uh, eh. I was trying to hop on the trend and try to get myself a million followers, but ended up not working, and I can see why. I actually really like this drawing. The face, the face definitely doesn't look like my style, but I actually think it's really cute. This used to be one of my OCs. She was a witch. The ha hat looks like ass, but her face was definitely kind of cute. Commission, it looks like eh. I mean, I still use too much purple for the skin. I should have copied the shading on this. I'm sorry. The this was an exact replica of the actual official art of this character. I can't remember what her name was. It was mint or vanilla. I can't remember which, which one it was. You know, you're like, dude, that looks like such good coloring. It was because I fucking copied it. Um, one of my OCs. She was supposed to be like a K-pop, not a K-pop star, a fucking Vocaloid star, something, something like that. She looks cute. She looks nice. Eh. Okay, well that was that sums up my 2018 drawing. Let's go to 2019. 
2019, I started doing some of the same shit. I started mostly just practicing how I drew people. Um, you can see the same character. She looks the same, but she looks cute. Uh, I tried to do like a, this fire thing that I saw on Instagram. It, it was kind of really cool, not gonna lie. But it definitely didn't really work well in this drawing. So I really liked shading pink. Oh, tomato girl. This was my girlfriend's OC. I still draw my girlfriend's OCs. Uh, definitely really cute. I, I actually kind of like the way I drew this. It's like, whoosh, whoosh. kind of cool. I, I was more, I was better at posing at this stage. Uh, this was a commission for a vampire lady. I definitely did really good on this. I liked her face. She looked cute. She's definitely cute. I could not say the same about the shoes. Um, this was the main, you, you guys probably already seen this drawing before. Um, but I started getting better around this point. This was like when I started to learn how to shade clothes, which I still don't. You guys never seen this drawing before, and that's because I was too embarrassed because I made his head too big. And for some reason, his hair is just kind of crooked. I called this man Turn Up. Oh, you guys know this one. This is when I fucking made that one tutorial. Oh my god, how horrible it looks looking back on it. Now, her nose, her nose is weird. I don't know why I did this with noses. Her eyes look completely off. Her ears look off. Her ears look off. The way her shoulder slouch was way too much. And then the flow of the hair was just eh. Demi from Fortnite. I actually posted a speed paint of this on my channel, but I took it off because I got embarrassed. I didn't like it that much. But it was Fortnite. Let's go. Oh, this was one of my OCs, but I never drew her again. But I definitely thought this was really cute. Her eyes were fucking cute. Her face shape looked definitely better. Her hair had more of a flow. Her horns, sure. This wasn't that good. I was trying to do something more dark and serious, of like a girl drowning in a water, but it didn't really look that good. It's me, bro, and I got a fat ass. Damn, bro. I, I was too used to drawing girls at this time that I ended up butchering my own fucking body and I made myself thick as fuck. Damn, bro, look at that booty. But yeah, this would, if this would this would have been a really good drawing if I didn't actually do that. If I didn't accidentally do that. But yeah, it's me. I, this is the Some Normal Artist logo if I fix that. I would definitely see myself using this to represent my... Or I would see my... I could see myself using this drawing to represent myself. That would be kind of cool. I definitely really, this is actually really nice. Like if I didn't accidentally do this, like this would actually look fucking sick. I might redraw this. This is really nice. This was Bell, I think. Uh, this was a commission from one of my friends. Uh, I started getting better at shading, maybe clothing. I used more of like a pencil tool instead of watercolors. Uh, hair looks fine. Eyes look kind of eh. Oh, this was a practice because I wanted to do this one thing where I saw a guy like put shading over here and orange. That's what I do now. But I ended up butchering it and it looks kind of weird here. But her, like, okay. Her boobies look nice. Like the way I shaded with the multiply layer just really looks nice. I kind of really liked like around here. I know, that, I know that sounds completely sus, but you know. Her horns also really look nice. They actually look like kind of horns. This was a commission from one of my close followers. Um, close friends, close. He was he was a follower, and then I started talking to him a lot. So like, he's a close friend. Um, definitely looks really nice. Not gonna lie. What I don't like about this is probably just the shoes. I was never really good at shoes, but you know, I it's solid, solid enough. I don't really like the eyes either. I guess she's not really looking anywhere certain. The background I thought was really cool and really cool, really unique. Um, you guys should know this drawing. Um, what can I say about it? It was probably like advanced more advanced than what i used to do it definitely like out of any of my 2019 drawings that one's probably like the best one i've done this one oh i'm not allowed to show that on youtube oh this is when i got bored of my style and i started trying to change it up a bit so like i did have this phase where i started doing rough shading instead of like soft shading like oh i can't go back oh because i have it like as you can see this is soft shading but i fucking did a 180 and started doing hard shading as you can see, I started using more like line art tools that were more rough than soft. But this was, you know, for like trying something new, it wasn't that bad. This was a commission. Her eyes, de if they weren't that close, this would actually be really good. But her eyes were too close and I ended up kind of ruining everything. But, you know, I still don't know how to shade clothes a that well. Um, 
I don't know what I did here. I don't know what the fuck happened here. Uh, for another Fortnite character. I also did a speed paint on this one, but I ended up hating it, so I didn't post. Well, I did post it, but I privated it. Oh, there's Ram, bro. I we were looking for you. This was a commission too. It was it was decent, but I don't know. I don't really like it anymore. Now this is one actually one of my favorite drawings. I definitely like this one. Not for her face, but for her clothing, like around this point, is like definitely it definitely looks really cool. And this was probably one of my favorite drawings. What I would change though is like right here I added orange, but it looks completely off, so I would have probably removed that. Also, one of my best drawings. Okay, her neck here looks weird, but I ended up fixing that later. Um yeah, okay. Here's the fixed version. You can see her neck's fucking better than this one. Oh yeah. So this was definitely one of my best drawings, not gonna lie. It looks it looks really nice. I, I really like the way I uh, like drew this one. Like the background elements are cool. She just fucking looks it's just beautiful. Uh yeah. Uh, this was the drawing I used for how to color skin. Oh, this was my girlfriend's OC. You know which one I'm talking about because I showed her before. Uh the fingers are kinda doing sicko mode, but you know. We don't talk about that. Okay, this drawing, the background was absolutely fucking sick. Like the background was sick. I love the lens flare I did. The thing ruining the thing ruining this like, you know, drawing though is the character itself. I did not like the way I draw her, drew her, but the fuck, oh dude, the composition was so sick. Like in terms of composition, this was probably my best drawing. Oh, I kind of went back to drawing soft shading, you know, oh my God, this was a commission. I think I definitely didn't do this drawing of, of favor. Oh, so kind of gross. Uh, oh, this is Kimura. This is one of my OCs. I, she's really cute. I really like the way she drew her skin. Um, the skin color is nice looking. Um, she was a deer. She was like a mystic deer. I definitely like the way. Maybe I'll try her once again. Who knows? Uh, the ear was definitely too low. I tried doing something different with this one just because I didn't feel like drawing. But, you know, it's it's cool. It's like a profile picture. But I can't show that on YouTube. Let's go up here. All right. I definitely like the way I did that. Oh, dude, fucking no. The guns. The guns were really sick for what I used to do. But what I don't like is... What don't I like? Maybe her head was a little... Yeah, oh, holy fucking shit. I didn't even realize. Her head back here was just too big. I didn't even realize that. But, you know, I never really drew this character again. That kind of sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. I went back to the hard shading style. This was a commission from someone who was a, also close to me. Like, in terms of, like... I met him through my Instagram. And, dude, fucking... I kind of, you know, this is really good, actually. I, the the clothing here was actually really good. Probably not down by the pants, but, like, it, the shirts were actually kind of shaded really well. I like this one's face. I didn't really like this one because, you know, her chin doesn't really line up with her actual face. Because you can see it's supposed to be like this, so her chin would be, like, right here. Also, her neck was very long. Elsa, I mean, this one wasn't really that good. I didn't really like the clothing down here. I, my favorite thing was her hair and her eyes. That's pretty much all I could say uh though the bat slit the demon slayer oc not demon slayer in terms of the show but she was a demon slayer maybe who knows uh i drew her again i didn't the hair looked too saturated like i started getting the problem where i would saturate the hair too much again but i mean she looks better definitely than the last time i drew her this was a commission dude i loved this character so much that i contacted the artist again to buy it but um she didn't answer, but I really wanted to buy this character from her, dude. Fucking, it, like, I love the way he looks. Like, I remember doing the hat, and it just looks amazing. I couldn't say the same for the jacket, but her hat, the fucking, I mean, his hat just fucking looks amazing. I also like the way I did this part. It looks nice, but, uh, I don't know. On to 2020. Oh, dude, I didn't draw anything until, like, April of 2020. Dude, I started getting sick of drawing, but I came back stronger than ever on April of 2020. And this was actually one of my favorite drawings, too. It's, I call her Smoking Girl. So, this is when I started to combine my soft shading with my hard shading. And, dude, this drawing was probably one of my favorites to do. I just kind of fucking loved it. Like, the smoke, it's just so sick. 
Um, I started doing, I started being less creative and stuff and like terms of posing just because I wanted to evolve my style. But you can definitely tell like this was when I started rap rapidly progressing in terms of art. So, um, sure. I definitely, you guys all know this girl. Uh, the only thing about her though is her face, which kind of sucks. You guys keep making fun of her for having a pointy chin, but I liked it. I thought it was cute that she had a pointy chin, but you guys are making fun of her. Why are you making fun of her? Her eye is kind of too small here, which is definitely something that, like a valid criticism people point out. But come on, man, her cute little pointy chin, I thought it was cute. Um, this is also very nice. Uh, this is more of a sketch, and then I really like the way it did, like, the, uh, the background. Well, there's no background, I mean the lighting. Definitely really cool. I really liked it. A lot of people said this was their favorite drawing of mine, and I don't really see why. Hatsune Miku. You guys knew this one because I made her forehead too big. Uh, I started trying to be more creative. I made her sit down. I never really made a character sit down, and I thought I kind of pulled it off. The shoes are decent. I mean, I'm not really a professional at shoes. Um, the background, I kind of it was inspired by someone else by it. And yeah, I mean, this drawing was okay. Uh, the line art work is definitely not my best, and her ponytails kind of look weird. Can't remember what this character's name was, but I thought I thought it re really looked nice. I like the way I drew her collar because it actually looks like a fucking collar. I I am really bad at drawing objects, so it's like really hard for me to draw anything other than a shirt and pants. Um, her eyes definitely good. This shading, the lighting doesn't make too much sense, but you know I really like fucking doing it where I just shade them and then orange i really love that don't know why but this is definitely where i started getting better at like drawing faces heads her eyes I mean, the eye shape's kind of decent her hair i really liked the way i drew her hair coloring no but drawing it yeah corvus from paladins all right this was a good like the first guy i drew in a long time i thought he looked really sick the only thing i didn't like was the way i colored it because the way I, like i shaded his face it looked too grayish and then like the lighting parts kind of like are too it's too much contrast and like the purple and the gold kind of make it look like not good color scheme um you guys know this fucking drawing you guys know it. I, I mean i fucking love this drawing uh the only thing i didn't like about it was that i completely butchered her, her proportions because what i first did was that i first did the um, i first did the pose I first did like the background pose, like I first made the fuck. I first did the guidelines and then I picked what character I wanted to do. So I made her boba big and then I decided that it was going to be this character, but I really butchered her proportions. That's not really how she's supposed to look, but I still like it. Um, this was just hair practice. I definitely like the way I did hair. I think it looks funny. Her horns are not the same size, which kind of sucks, but you know, it happens. I was practicing with coloring, maybe? I think I just wanted a color, so I just drew this, but you can see those nice ass hands. I definitely really like the way I colored it, but like drawing wise, I think I just kind of rushed it. This was more turn, yeah, this was coloring practice too. Okay, dude, I was getting burnt out from drawing. Like I could not find any motivation to draw anymore because I think I was just getting burnt out from school, but I really like the way I fucking colored this character. Like she looks, her face looks super nice. Um, that was, that was it for 2020. Dude, I only drew like 10 things. Uh, first to start it off, Valorant was doing this one thing where they were showing off characters, um, for art and I wanted to join in because funny enough, I was already drawing Jet. So at this point in like my art, I was just kind of practicing with like, you know, contrast shading, like, uh, monochromatic shading. And it was actually really fun. I really loved doing it. And you can see here, like, her face actually looks really nice. Like, I really like the way I did her face. She looks fucking pissed off, but I really liked it. I really love this drawing. And they put it on their stream thing. Next thing wasn't even a drawing. It was more of a sketch just to fix the proportions of my character. And to make her more creative as well, I gave her a leash. What I don't like about my character design is that I gave her five rings. I should have just gave her one or three, but five is too much. So yeah, I definitely try to make... At this point, I started getting more efficient at drawing, but, you know, it still takes me a little bit longer to draw. Uh, I always copied her shading for the latex and shit. Princess Peach, you guys know this drawing because I featured it, I think, maybe in one of my videos. I was trying to just make it as a joke. I was just going to draw her pogging as just a joke, but I ended up liking the way she turned out, so I just kind of colored her. 
because she looked nice. It was definitely a sketch. You can definitely tell it was a sketch just because of the crown, the earrings, and the clothing. But, you know, I still like it. It was funny. And then my last drawing that I uh, that I drew, March 13th, one maybe one of the best drawings that I've ever done in terms of how I like it. Like, her eyes just look nice. Her mouth, she's pissed. Her coloring, yeah, her hair coloring is just really nice. And then she's slouching too much, but that's just because I kind of just drew her body last. But this is definitely how I really imagined my style to be. Because from here on out, what I do really want to practice now is just my compositions, my like doing more creative stuff. I want to take more creative risks because you can see all of this year, I just kind of did, you know, like flat, boring poses. Um, but they were just more for practice than... Uh, than actual drawings but i used to be more creative but for this year i'm gonna try my hardest to fucking just push myself in art and like push myself to do more youtube and i i really want to do more tutorials because i couldn't because fucking school and shit but you know that is the end that is my entire art career summed up in one video um so thank you guys once again for so much support so much support within like these past fucking two years it's been amazing and if you want to see more of my art, you just go to my Instagram. I'm starting to get sleepy because I usually get sleepy when I make videos. But thank you guys so much again for 150,000 subscribers. And I just want to wish you guys an amazing day. And I want to help all, as much people as I can with the platform I have. So that's my goal in life is to just help others reach their full, their maximum potential in art. So once again, thank you guys. And I'll see you all later.